Hello everybody, happy new year, happy January, happy 2021. So glad that it's finally here. I have a lot of big plans for this year. Hopefully we can accomplish them all because you know, last year kind of dampered a lot of our plans, I know, but this is a fresh start, fresh year. So I hope that you all have had a great last few weeks during the holidays or whatever you did. I hope that it was a great one. Today, I am planning on reopening my shop or at least getting my shop ready to reopen. I waited a little bit longer this year. Normally, I will reopen right after Christmas. Sometimes I'll do January or right after January 1st, but with all the shipping, you know, delays and everything going on, I decided to wait a little bit longer and today is January 4th, so I'm probably going to be opening up tomorrow, January 5th. Um, so that is the plan. So today I'm going to, I have a couple of things that I'm going to get done. I'll show you guys. Okay, so here are the things that I wanna get done today and ignore my messy handwriting, but um, I'm gonna get an order done. I just have one order that I need to get done. Really quick and easy, it's just a decal. Design Valentine's Day SVGs for my SVG shop. I'm a little bit late on that, but it's getting done, so that's good. I'm gonna import new listings into that shop. Then I'm gonna get my regular Etsy shop ready to reopen. Um, I need to order a few supplies and then clean my vinyl mats. So I had this order from my website, which I don't get a whole lot of sales on there normally because I don't put a lot of effort into it like I should. So I did get one order for that over the last few days. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in. All it is is a thank you mailbox decal. And I need to go ahead and get that out in the mail today. I realize my website, I need, I desperately, desperately need to, to update. I think I still have it on fall stuff, so I need to go and fix all of that. If I have time, I'll add that to my list to get done today too. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this designed and ready to be cut on the machine. Okay, so now I am online and I'm gonna go ahead and order some supplies that I need. I don't need much just because I placed a pretty large order at the end of last year. So I don't need much, but I do need a couple of rolls of vinyl. And when I'm kind of just wanting a quick roll of vinyl here and there, I will go on Amazon. So I know I need to order a few rolls of vinyl. 
and I already placed an order, I think yesterday or the day before that for some hangers that I needed. And I do need to place an order for a couple of other things. I might need some more mailers. I do need a large mailer, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy some of those. And then I should be good to go. And the good thing about Amazon is if you get forget something, you can just order it the next day and it doesn't make much of a difference. So I'm gonna place those orders now. So I was sitting here about to place an order and I realized that I do need vinyl mats, but I don't wanna buy them if I am able to completely clean them and have them be re-sticky. Again, I don't even know if that's a word, re-sticky. If they're able to be sticky again. So I'm gonna take them downstairs and try some suggestions that I saw on my last video on how to re-stick them. I know how to clean them and get the lint off of them, but I've never tried to wash them before to see if that works. So let's head downstairs and try that. And if it works, then I won't have to order some. So let's go try it out. They're all done, so I'm gonna let them dry here for the next little while, and I'll just hold off on ordering these and just see how they turn out. Okay, so I just got finished buying the vinyl and all of that, getting all that ordered, so they should all be here in a few days. And now I'm going to design some SVG files. I don't know how many I'm going to get done today, but I'm going to attempt to get at least a couple of done today and get them on the SVG shop and then get my other shop ready to open tomorrow. So that's what I'm going to work on right now on the computer. So I get a lot of questions on what software I use to download and design SVG files, and I use Adobe Illustrator. So I just got done designing some SVG files. I'll show you a few of them. So they're kind of simple, but um, just for my SVG shop, this one says Home Sweet Home. I love us. And this is going to be for, I guess, wood signs. Love you more, love you most. Just regular XOXO. Hello, Valentine. And I don't need a Valentine. I need a nap. <laughs> So those will be live on my shop tonight. Well, by the time you're seeing this, it'll already be on there. So um, now all I have to do is just export them and put them up on my shop. And that's all I have to do. So I'll go ahead and um, erase that off of my little board here. So I was gonna go ahead and update you guys on the mats and they definitely are sticky again and they're clean, which is nice. So I guess if we put some vinyl on it, that'll be the real test. Oh yeah, they're definitely stickier than they were. So awesome, so guys, that does work. The Dawn and just scrubbing lightly and washing with warm water definitely works. So that's really good to know. I guess I don't need to order any mats now. <laughs> Okay, so this last year was a year full of growth for me within myself, within my business, within everything in life. I've just grown a lot as a person and I want to continue and take that with me in 2021. So I want to take this year and make it a year full of growth. I want to learn as many things as I can. I want to venture on new ventures for my business and just try and expand as much as possible. And, you know, it's healthy to do that, continuing to learn and continuing to explore in your passions and figure out what makes you happy and what you know makes you thrive in your business. So that is the first goal that I have for this coming year. The second thing is, and this is an important thing for everybody, but don't spend all of your time working. You know, make healthy schedules for yourself. That's something that I really have always tried to implement every year is figuring out time-saving measures and organizational methods that'll help you 
to not be working so much because when you are starting a business, you put a lot of your time and a lot of your effort into that business. So this year I want to try and have set hours that I work every day. I don't want to work an 18 hour days anymore. I really don't want to do that. I know that that's going to happen sometimes. There's going to be some days like holiday rush where I'm working a lot, but I would like to have a set amount of hours that I work every day so my children can have me at the evenings or whatever time that I choose to work around. I'm focused on solely them and the house and whatever I need to get done and I'm not so consumed in work. So I'm going to try and have set amount of hour or just set hours for myself. That's a goal that I have this year. So we'll see if that happens because I'm a little bit of a workaholic, just a little bit. So I need to try and just have a healthy amount of hours that I work every day. So that's the goal that I have this year. Okay. And thanks to you guys. Since YouTube has been growing, I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. I never thought that it would continue to grow to this um, point that it's gotten to. And I'm reaching so many different people. And with all of you telling me how much I have encouraged you or inspired you, it means so much to me. And it just thrives my passions to continue to grow this channel. So I want to continue to grow this channel. But just to be able to reach more people and be able to help more people and inspire more people. That is something I want to continue to do this year. So I'm excited for this channel for this coming year. I'm going to, I have a lot of exciting plans and things that I'm planning for this year for you guys. So that is definitely a goal I have is to continue to put more videos out. I would like to do two videos a week, maybe more. We'll see, but that is another goal I have. So I'm excited about that. So those are a couple of goals that I have decided on just going into 2021, just continuing to grow my business, set healthy hours, and continue to grow this channel and continue to reach more people and just continue to learn. I'm so excited about what this year is going to bring for all of us. Thank you so much for your support and following my journey. And we'll see what 2021 holds for Simply Sally. Like I said, lots of plans brewing in my mind and I have a lot of exciting things I want to get done and do and I hope that you all have some goals that you set for yourself for 2021. Maybe this year will be a little bit better than last year. <laughs> I know none of us expected to go through all that happened in 2020. It was a crazy year and I'm sure that this year will be crazy too but maybe it won't be as bad. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit all over the place, but this was my day of getting my shop ready to reopen and just getting things ready and um, getting set for 2021. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.